Hi there. So today I want to talk to you about resilience. So it's something that comes up regularly in coaching sessions. And we all need levels of resilience uh, because we all have times when life and jobs are challenging. So one of the key components to help us to be more resilient is gratitude. It's about being grateful. So it's about being grateful for what we have and what we can do. Because sometimes when we're, I suppose, in that area where we're under a bit of pressure, where it's a bit more challenging, we can start to doubt ourselves. There can be a little bit of imposter syndrome can creep in and there can be just the self-doubt. You know, I, I can't do stuff or I can't do this or I can't do that. And what's so important is that if you do a base level of work around your strengths and your resources, that can be really, really powerful. So we've spoken previously in, in videos around values, which again is great because clarity around values can help you in terms of staying on, on, on point. But when we do work around our strengths and our values, again, it just helps to take that emotional thinking out of it and we get a little bit more objective and we can see what it is we actually have. So a lovely phrase that I remember hearing back in a lecture back in the day was that, you know, where, where the mind goes, energy flows. So basically what we tend to focus on tends to be where our energy goes and where our focus goes. And that tends to be uh, what we, we get done as opposed to maybe if we're in a slightly more negative frame of mind, stuff doesn't get done as such. So a good way of, I suppose, you know, capturing that uh, and is maybe something like a, a gratitude journal or a notebook or some way, because every time you have a win, it's important that you log it. So if I do Euro for every time somebody said, ah, oh, but look, that's what I get paid to do. But whether you get paid to do it or not, it's important to capture the wins. Because then if you are having a bad day, you can go back. And if you're starting to doubt yourself in terms of what you can do, if you just even spend a minute or two reading back on previous wins, times where you were in that positive mindset, it can really just change the mindset. And sometimes that's all it needs. Again, it's about, you know, reframing and focusing the mind in a more positive way. This week I was very, very um, fortunate and feel very, very happy that two people I was working with phoned me up with like really, really great news. One was after getting a promotion work and one was after getting a new job. And again, I suppose, I, you know, they were they were very happy that because of the work that we had done, they were in a position to be able to avail of the opportunities as they arose. So I've captured that. And again, someday, and it happens where you might not necessarily feel that you're at your best. It's a good thing to be able to go back and reference. And it's certainly, certainly helpful. So I think, you know, capture those wins when you get them. And again, if you can at all, focus on what it is you can do and what it is you have as opposed to what you can't do and what you don't have. If you don't, have something or you can't do something you know chances are there is somebody who can help you in that regard so who are those resources that you can call upon and that can be really really making the difference between getting stuff done and perhaps procrastinating and leaving it go or maybe not ever getting to work so i hope that helps